Hi guys, today I want to teach you how you can make a hover effect on the featured collections sections of your home page and also the collection page. So you can see right now on this purple flower product, when I hover over it with my mouse, you can see the image change. Uh, and so this will work for images as well as videos. So you can see that I have a video when I hover over this pink flower and it also will work on collection pages. All right guys, so I'm in the admin of my test store right now. And the first thing I want you guys to do is you're gonna go ahead and click settings here. And then you're gonna go to meta fields. So this meta fields tab is a, actually a new feature that Shopify very recently added. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and click products here. And we're gonna hit add a definition. You can see right now I have no custom definitions. A name we're gonna use is basically hover effect. And you can see that now the namespace has been generated. It's going to be my underscore fields, hover effect, just whatever you guys put here, make sure that you remember this because we're going to use this later. And for the description, I can just put like uh, this image will display on hover. All right, now it's going to ask me to select a content type. We're going to want um, file here. The file is going to accept only images. Um, we're going to either be using PNGs, JPEGs, or GIFs, or GIFs, however you want to pronounce it, for this. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click Save. Now, what you'll notice is in our products, when we generate a product, you'll see when I generate a product, when I hit, let's say I, I name this pink flower description, this is a pink flower. And then when I scroll all the way down, you'll now see at the very bottom underneath search engine listing preview, there used to be nothing here. And now there's going to be this meta fields tab here. And when I click this, it's going to allow me to select an image um, from the images that I've uploaded to my site to uh, set in this meta field slot. So for people that already have their desired image that they want to pop up when they hover, or for people who already have a GIF, you can skip to the next chapter of the video. But for those people who are working with a video file, like an MP4, I'm gonna teach you guys how to generate a GIF from that right now. So if you wanna generate a GIF from an MP4, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and type in easy GIF on Google and go ahead and go to this easy GIF thing here. So the next step, you're gonna go ahead and click video to GIF right here. So you wanna go ahead and hit this choose file here and then click on your MP4, hit open and then hit upload video. Now it's gonna take a while to upload. Okay guys, so once it's been uploaded, basically what you wanna do is you wanna go down to this start time and end time here, and you're gonna select the portion of the video that you wanna use as the um, for the GIF. So for me, I'm just gonna use the first three seconds. You don't want this to be really longer than like five seconds or, or anything like that, because what's gonna happen is this is gonna generate a GIF, and if GIFs are, GIFs can be quite um, resource intensive as far as the amount of space they take up. And so when people are loading your website, you don't want to slow that, that process down too much. Uh, go down here and go ahead and select 25 for the FPS. That way the GIF is going to be higher quality. And then go ahead and hit convert to GIF here. So it'll have this cat loading icon and just be patient. It'll, it'll load your GIF. So you can see that the file size on this GIF right now is 26 megabytes, which is huge. If you think about having a collection of 20 items, 20 plus items, um, trying to load 20 times 26 is gonna be you know, almost half a gigabyte there. So we're gonna go ahead and resize this. And I'm gonna go ahead and resize it down and make it a third of its original um, resolution. So you see that it's scaled it down and now it's only three megabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. And it will download this. You'll notice their servers are pretty slow to download stuff. Um, just bear with it and you know be patient. Okay, so once our image is downloaded, we're gonna go back to our product here. Go ahead and hit upload image here. And we're going to use the GIF that we just generated. So this will take a little bit to upload as well. And we'll click um, the checkbox on that and hit done. Now, one last point, guys. If you're trying to upload a GIF 
like let's say I try to upload this GIF here and you'll see that it, it'll give me an error. What you want to do with that is it'll say this one file failed processing error. What you want to do with that, go back to easy GIF, go ahead and click on this optimize tab and then click on this repair tab here and then choose whichever file was giving you trouble and go through the same process of uploading it. Once it's uploaded, you're going to go ahead and use this repair method drop down to unoptimize the GIF. For whatever reason, Shopify doesn't like optimized GIFs. It's going to add a little bit to the file size, but once you save that and once it downloads on your computer, you should be able to upload it here without any issues. But we're just going to use this one that uploaded fine. So go ahead and click save here after you're done with that. And now we're going to get on to editing the code of our site. So we're going to click online store here. Before we do anything here, I'm a big fan of downloading your theme file. Uh, just in case you screw up the code of your site, it's always good to have a backup that you can just upload and work from. So once we've downloaded our theme file, we can go ahead and hit this edit code button here and it will take us to the code editor. Now there are two files that we're going to be working with primarily here. The first is the product card grid .liquid file. So if we just go ahead and type in product here, you should see right here in the snippet section, you should see product card grid liquid. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And the second file that we're going to be working with is the theme.css file. So go ahead and open that one as well. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go down to the very bottom of your theme.css file and go ahead and put a, a note here saying reveal module and then go ahead and put the date just so you can remember that this is where you added uh, this part to your code. And I will have something for you guys to copy paste in the description of this video. So once you've copy pasted that, go ahead and click save here and then we'll move on to the product card grid dot liquid file so for this file what we want to do is we're essentially going to copy this image element here and go ahead and hit enter and then paste it below itself so we now have two image elements the second thing that we're going to do is we need to basically set the variables for the second image. So right now what this is doing is it's just creating two of the same image, but we're going to change these sources and alts and aspect ratios to fit our uh, second desired image. So to do that, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and copy this line where we're assigning the image URL and paste it below itself and now we'll change the name of this variable to hover underscore image URL and then what we want to do is instead of having what we have there now we're going to replace it with the meta field that we created earlier let me double check what we named it so if you guys forget at this point you can just go to settings and meta fields products and you can see that I named it hover effect, so I need to change that. So hover effect here. So now instead of using this preview image.alt here, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, copy that, paste it here, and instead of using image URL, we're going to use hover image URL for this. And instead of using the preview image aspect ratio, we're going to use the image ratio from our desired image here. So go ahead and click save on that. And the final thing that I want you guys to do, you need to apply the certain classes that we create in our CSS. So you're going to go to this div here that has the wrapper ID and all of this and just types a space and then reveal here. And we also need to apply the hidden class to the second image. So you go down to the, our second image, you find where it says class equals, 
and then at the end you're just going to type a space and type hidden and then go ahead and save it. So I'm going to create a new collection called flowers here and I'll make it a manual thing. I'll just add the products to it. I'll go ahead and click save for this. After I've created the collection, I can now add it to the featured collection section. I'll change this from monkeys to flowers and go ahead and save it. I need to make sure that my product is active and that it's checked for the online store. So you can see that the featured collection is here. We have our pink flower product and when I hover over it, it animates it and when I move the mouse off of it, it's a static image. Now you can see if I go ahead and make, create another product called purple flower that this will also work with static images as well. So for this we'll use this as our main image and for the meta field here I'm going to go ahead and use this as the other image. Check that, save it and go ahead and reload the site and you can see that now this one's a static image that on hover changes and this one has a GIF behind it. Okay guys, so that's the new way to create a hover effect in Shopify's debut theme using meta fields. It used to be that you had to use other images in the media tab here, but now with uh, meta fields, this is definitely the best way to do it. If you guys have any trouble implementing this, I'd encourage you to leave a comment in the comment section below. And if this sort of content appeals to you, you know, little upgrades that you can make to your Shopify site, I'd encourage you to subscribe. Um, until I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm giving away free consultations every week to a random subscriber. So if that appeals to you, you have to be subscribed to be eligible for that. If this video helped you, go ahead and leave a like so other people can find it. Also, if you have any burning desires as far as little features you need coded into your Shopify site and whatnot, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments section. And, you know, I might make a video out of them if there's enough interest.